If you ever experienced delays or interruptions with one of your tasks where it has to be stopped for a time, you can do what's called a task split. And I'm looking at task 7, create outline. That's got a duration of two days. And you can see over here in the Gantt chart, the resource writer 1 has been assigned to it, and part of it's been completed. How do you know? Well, you can see the black progress bar over the task bar. And to know exactly how much, if it's 41% or 52, just hover over it. Click off, hover over it again. And if you're just tired of hovering, waiting for that pop-up, and you can see in the pop-up down at the bottom, 50% of it's been completed, then the other option is you can come up here and change the table from the entry table. Give it a right click on the table header cell, that blank cell, and go down to tracking, and then click and drag the split bar over. And you can see that the actual start date for this task was September the 8th. 50% of it was completed, so of two days, half of that is one day for the actual duration of completion, and then one day left to complete the remaining duration. So let me come up here and hit undo so I can go back quickly to where we uh, were. And then to go ahead and split the uh, remaining part of the task that hasn't been completed and push it out to a later date, one, two days, three days, or however many, until Rider 1 is available again. You can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either come up here on the Task tab and go to the Schedule group, and there it is, Split Task, pop-up. And when you do it this way, you don't have to have the task selected. You can have, in fact, any task selected and come up here because when you click on it and I move it down here, you can see that it's got that pop-up split task. It just says, okay, go ahead and click on the task bar over here in the Gantt chart that you want to split. And it's going to be this one right here. And when I hover over it, if it's on the black progress line, you don't get a date in that pop-up. But when I go to a time that it hasn't been completed, which is the second day, September the 9th, you can see that date right there. That means I can go ahead and click, and it will split it out. Now, when I click on it, the uh, default split is one day. So you've got one day that was completed, a day of delay, and then the next day, which would be when I hover over it, Friday is when it should finish, or when Rider 1's available. But if he calls up and says, no, 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 I'm not available on Friday. Actually, this is really bad, and I need to come back in a couple of days later. So you can hover over that part of the split task, that's been pushed out. You can see the first task, dot, dot, and the second. Until you get a four-way arrow, then you can click and drag that out. And you can see when I start dragging that you get in that pop-up those dates that says, okay, if I move it right here, it's going to be bumped out to Monday the 13th. If I move it back, there's the 9th, and there's a weekend. Of course, we don't finish on weekends, so we'll bump it out to the 13th. Let go, and there you go. So we now have a delay of two days. And as far as the project end date goes, it's not pushing that out because we've got this task constraint on modify outline when you hover over it to start no earlier than September the 22nd. So we can keep pushing this out until it affects this and it gets past the 22nd, goes to the 23rd, in which case this is going to become critical and push out the project end date. So we're still good if he wants to delay that. Well, I like my task to be completed a lot earlier because, hey, we get bonuses when we complete our project early. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this back. You split it and you don't want to split it and you don't have the undo button. You can click and drag it and kiss it, the uh, first part of the tag. Just slam it right back into it and let go and hey, it's whole again. You can do it that way or you can to split it, right click on the uh, tasks bar and you get that little pop-up of bar there, the least of which is split task. And then of course go ahead and hover and click and boom. I hovered over the 9th so it splits out. So the 8th was completed, the 9th, uh, September the 9th is a day of delay. And then September, when I hover over this one, the 10th is when it gets completed. The duration you can see in the pop-up is still two days, even though it's delayed a day. And you can say, well, it's three days. Well, not actually to complete the task. To complete the task, it's two. But taking into consideration that extra day of delay, you could say, well, it's a three-day uh, task. But not how project's going to calculate this. It's going to look at how long it actually takes to complete the task, not the delays. If you get a task split, it might be a wise thing to come over here for that task and double click on it and go to the notes tab and type in a note saying something like work interrupted on September the 9th due to a fam emergency for Rider 1. Click OK. So that way when you look over here at somebody else and goes, hey, what's with the delay? You know, you can hover over the little task note and go, OK, good on you, Gov. You got an explanation of why it's been delayed. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.